I don't think the royal wedding fever is going to die down until the next royal wedding. The latest to grab the headlines, Princess Beatrice's awful hat is proving once again any publicity is good publicity. It has been compared to antlers, a toilet seat and a pretzel and has been used to create photo montages of scores of unlikely scenarios on the internet. The silk pale pink Philip Tracy creation of fabric circles and sashes is being auctioned on eBay with the proceeds to be divided equally between the UN Children's Fund and the Children in Crisis charity. The auction which opened May 12th will close on Sunday night. UN officials said at least 83 bids have been received and it allegedly was sold for a staggering $81,570. Not surprising really because there is also a Facebook fan page called Princess Beatrice Ridiculous Royal Wedding Hat has more than 132,000 fans who have filled its wall with comments. Naomi Campbell is always a welcome sight on any ramp. God knows why she even retired. Well, okay, maybe she did need to break off the 25 years, but her fans got yet another sighting when she strutted for charity at Cannes this year. Supermodel Naomi Campbell took her Fashion for Relief charity runway show to Cannes Film Festival to raise money for those affected by Japan's earthquake and tsunami. She took to the catwalk in a series of show-stopping gowns. The 40-year-old British star lead a cast of superstars at the red carpet to runway. Themed fashion gala held at the Fourville Market in Cannes. Walking in red carpet ready looks from Lanvin, Jean-Paul Gaultier, Sonia Riquel, Valentino and a baby of other top labels. We saw Carolina Kukova, Lindsay Wixon and Yasmin Lebon all on the runway, but the highlight was Jane Fonda who drew applause when she closed the show in a gold lace Mochessa gown. In India, we only get to see mango clothes in the exclusive stores. Though they have been staging fashion shows at home in Barcelona and Madrid for a while now, the Spanish fashion house has decided it's time to go global on its 60th anniversary and the first stop is the Mecca of Fashion, Paris. The show began with a video collaboration from Terry Richardson and Kate Moss. The window shades lowered around the runway while The Great Escape played out showing Moss and Richardson riding around Paris in a white van getting ready for an evening out. Moss tries on a number of pieces of the collection short dresses, blazers and leather pants until Richardson finally approves of her look. On the actual runway show, models Emeline Ballad, Mita Maas, Sigrid Agron and Isabelle Fontana, who will be the next face of the brand, showed off shiny party dresses and chic black evening suits paired with glitzy chain jewelry. The fashion world seems to be in quite a turmoil right now. It's out with the old and in with the new for many fashion house creative heads and the latest to make news for it is Issey Miyake. Outgoing designer Dave Fujiwara has a successor and his name is Yoshiyuki Miyami. Miyami, who first joined the Miyake Design Studio in 2001, replaces Dave Fujiwara, who left the label earlier this year after five years. His first collection will be shown in Paris this October. The Japanese label also has big changes in store for its men's division, which will be known as Issey Miyake Men Effective Spring 2012. A design team, rather than an individual designer, will oversee the collection. A line of shirtless hunks? Need I say more? Yes, I did think you would want to go straight to the visuals. Well, here you go. Abercombe took a cue from our very own Salman Khan and multiplies it by a hundred. The first Abercrombie and Fitch store in Paris is set to open with a showcase of 101 shirtless male models. They were all over the building from street levels to the rooftops and no one was complaining for sure. And if you are feeling bad you missed the action, they will have shirtless stuff all year long. 